Hello students. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the Oxford 3000 and the steps you need to take before you use the Oxford 3000 word list. So if you open your iPad and you go to iTunes U and you open our course, level 2, here if you click on vocabulary you see that we have a lesson called Introduction to Oxford 3000. So we've got two videos and right now you've started watching this video, video 1, how to download the Oxford 3000. So what you need to do, maybe it looks like this when you start, but what you need to do is you need to open these two files. So the first one is your Oxford 3000. So you just click on it and it will open the file. It's quite a big file. It's got all the 3,000 words. Actually, it's 3,500 words that are in the Oxford 3000. Okay, so I'm going to pause a bit while we're downloading it. This will take some time for you. I'm just going to put this on pause. Okay, so once um, you've opened the file with the Oxford 3000 word list on your iPad, it will take quite a lot of time the first time. It is a big file, as I said. But when it's finished, you will see up in the top right corner that you can press on this little arrow to get the choices you have. And you want to open it in numbers, because it's a numbers. It's a numbers file, and numbers is what we use on the iPad instead of Excel. Okay, so now it's opening this. It's an importing it. Now you think maybe this takes a long time, but it will only take this long the first time you're doing it. Okay? So to open it, I just click on it, tap on it with my finger to open it. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but there it is. So this is the file with all the Oxford 3000 words, starting with ABC as you can see, going all the way down to Z. And you have different spaces here. For example, you have the CFR level. Like, for example, if you look at the word like abandon here, you see that is a B2 word, which means that's a word that you focus on in level, in level 4. Whereas if you go down here and you look at the word like above or about, you see that they are A1 words. Okay, here is a place for definition, for example sentence, for collocations and for date. And also if you want to check what we're doing, if you turn right, you see all the information on how to use it as well on the right hand side of this file. So now you opened Oxford 3000, so let's click on spreadsheets again up here to close it. Now if you want to change the name, maybe you want to give it your name, you just tap on the name like this and you can add your your own word like maybe you want to call it Oxford 3000 and your name for example so this is what you do Oxford 3000 and maybe your name is Ahmed so this is what you do done so now you know that this is your personal copy and every time you open it you open numbers so you click on numbers Okay, I got some in apps, I can't find it. Let's see where it is. There it is. Here is numbers, you click on it. So every time you want to use it, you open numbers and then you click on the Oxford 3000. And there it is. And you don't have to save anything because whenever you use it, it will save automatically. Okay, so let's go back to iTunes U and see what else is there. There's a second file you need to download and that's called Extra Words. It's much smaller, but you do the same thing again. You click on it to open it and it will open in, in numbers. So if you click on that little arrow at the top right corner and choose open in numbers it will open the numbers as well okay so now you got two 
extra words and Oxford 3000. Okay, the next thing you need to do when you're working on vocabulary is to open your dictionary, the Oxford Learner's Dictionary, to make sure that's ready. And obviously you also need to work on the text. So let's say you're using the bookshelf, let's say you're using um, Reading Explorer, so you need to find the page you're working on. So let's say we're going to work on this one. So these are the four things you need, okay? You need your numbers open with the Oxford 3000 list, you need your dictionary open, and you need your text open. In this case, it's in the Oxford, uh, the Reading Explorer intro, okay? So now you're ready to work with Oxford 3000, okay?